Well, one of the fascinating things about uh, discussions about evolution is that they often aren't clear about what we're actually discussing. So evolution in terms of just genetic change over time, uh, that's not even an idea. That's just a brute observation. We see it. Uh, evolution in the sense of whether that genetic change over time has resulted in the diversity of species we see now, which is the proposition of common descent, that is an idea, that's an interpretation. But the evidence uh, for the truth of that interpretation is overwhelming, uh, and it ranges from biogeographic evidence or where species have, are located all over Earth to the uh, fossil column to more recently the discovery of um, profound examples of genetic fossils. Um, so that idea is very firmly established and it is central to our understanding of how organisms work uh, and how they're structured. The last uh, component of evolution really is a theoretical proposition and that is what are the causes that drive the process. Uh, and that's something that is um, debated amongst biologists. That, uh, the synthetic theory of evolution suggests, and that's the dominant paradigm, that uh, evolution results from a twin process of mutation and natural selection. And it is certainly true uh, that those forces uh, drive evolution, but the extent to which other factors are also important in evolutionary change is uh, issue of scientific debate. We never have the full answer at any given stage of development.